We're going to be reviewing the TZX menu and the HX menu, and we're going to be comparing both of them, seeing which one I personally like better, so I can give you guys a better idea of what you guys should choose on your next purchase or when you're trying to pick a mod menu. We've done this before with the Crown menu and the Yulin menu, and you guys absolutely loved it. As long as you guys continue to like these videos, continue to subscribe, continue to show support on this channel, we're going to keep pushing these out for you guys. I want to compare all the menus that come out now or in the future, and I want to always, always recommend the best menu for you guys to use. So let's start off with today. We got the tzx menu and then next we're going to do the hx menu like i said we're going to see which one's best and at the end of the video i'm going to tell you guys which one i recommend you guys buy next Okay, I just want to start off by saying you can get both of the menus on the Real Dudes Inc. store. There's the TZX 5M external menu that starts at $20, and then there's the HX 5M software menu that starts off at $14. But yeah, they're both on the store for anybody who's interested. The link's going to be in the description. And like I said, after this video, you should know which one that you want to go with. But yeah, make sure to check out realdudesinc.com to get access to any of the mod menus that we feature in all of our videos. We're going to start off with the TZX menu. And yeah, this is a great menu. I've messed around with it a little bit. I haven't used it a lot in the past besides to, to review it on this channel but it is still a great menu i spent the last like 30 minutes just messing around with it looking at all the different functions like i said i just want to show you guys the best functions and then obviously all the cons to the menu as well so we're going to start off with the first con being that when you open the menu and you're trying to click something as you guys can see i'm, I'm still clicking around. look my, my, my character is punching a lot of menus actually do have this same issue and the only way that you can actually fix this is by adding a block input option to the menu and basically with that when you click it and you open up your menu then you won't have that issue where your character is moving around or he's trying to punch somebody by accident because you're trying to access something on the menu if i click something like i don't know like esp my character will punch i don't know if you guys can see that now the reason they disabled this is actually because of the anti-cheats on 5m apparently the anti-cheats on 5m are actually able to detect this menu and that's the whole reason why they removed it so yeah it might take some time to get used to or if you're trying to open up the menu all you have to do is click f8 and then when you do that you can click whatever you want and then you won't have any issues i'd say that's pretty much the only down downside that I've seen so far is that and the fact that they were able to remove it because they noticed that anti-cheats are actually detecting the menu is actually a good thing because it shows the developers actually care about the menu and to me honestly it's not that big of a deal you could also just open up the menu and then where where your UI is where all this stuff is up here you just click it once and then it'll just lock it in place it is an extra step but it's honestly worth it and it takes like not even half a second other than that like I said before this UI is very clean you got all your different functions up here you got your player you got your visuals which is your esp then you got your combat which is your aim by and then spawning in weapons and building all sorts of things we'll, we'll, we'll break it down then you got your vehicle options you got your miscellaneous which is just a bunch of random stuff that they put in one category and then you got your settings and with settings what is cool is if you don't know the best settings then you can use pretty much anybody else's settings in the community but let's say i went and spent an hour picking out the best settings on here and i saved it i can actually upload it so that you guys are able to use my settings on here which i think is actually badass let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. That's one cool thing about this menu is that it gives you all these different configs. That's one cool thing about this menu. So if you have a favorite creator that you watch on 5M and you want to use his settings, you can just preload all of his settings and then you can save it as your own. You got all your basic functions here like God Mode, Semi God Mode, Invisible, stuff like that. You got your heal and armor, so you pretty much give yourself armor or you can reheal yourself. One cool thing about the heal feature and the armor feature that I'd love to see is if they could add a keybind to it. So you just set a keybind and then anytime you need healed when you're in a 1v1 or you're trying to fight somebody or you're getting shot at by the cops, you just click that keybind and then you reheal yourself without having to open the menu. You got all these different kinds of visual effects that you can use. One cool thing, and I'm not going to lie, this stood out to me the most is this. Let me show you guys. Hold on. You guys see that arrow? Every time I move, it just like follows the character. This is the first time I've seen something like this on a menu. I don't know if any other menus have it, but I really haven't seen it in any other menu. But like it'll just show you what direction the player is facing so with everything off it just looks like this and yeah pretty much you could just track the player i thought that was pretty unique all right over here we got all the aimbot settings you got the you got the aimbot obviously then you got the silent aim and then you got magic bullet you can actually keybind aimbot and silent aim let's let's test the aimbot real quick i'm curious see how good the aimbot is that's the i think that's the most important thing when it comes to menus how good the aimbot is Okay, that's, that's actually pretty good. It sticks dead on. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty fire. That's that's solid aimbot, I'm not gonna lie. As far as the aimbot, you got a bunch of aimbot filters that you can use. Then you got your aim distance, and this basically tells you how far you want the aimbot to 
to work. So if you don't want to lock on to somebody that's like across the map, you can change it. So it only works on people that are basically in front of you or close to you. You got your weapons options, no recoil, no spread. You got add ammo, then you got damage multiplier. If you turn that bitch all the way up, you are going to one shot motherfuckers. You're going to confuse me. Actually, I might do that for a video, bro. I might 1v1 kids and then just have the damage multiplier all the way up. That one, like I one tap them, they get so confused. Then you got your crosshair. You got a bunch of different crosshair settings. And then you got your builder for aimbot and weapons combined. So you can build different aimbot settings or crosshairs. And then here you can change how you want the aimbot to work. So if you want it to snap onto their head, you can do that. Over here, we got our vehicle options. It's just basic vehicle options. You got instant break. That's pretty cool. So you could actually set a key bind to that. So it just breaks automatically. Your car goes from like 200 miles to like zero instantly. That's actually pretty cool. You got your vehicle ESP and then you got your car list where you can basically TP to cars, lock cars. Oh, that's cool. You could lock somebody else's car. Wait, hold on. Let's TP to this car right here, right? Okay, so it's unlocked. I can drive it. This is in my car. Let's see if we can lock it. Let's see if it'll work. Lock car. Oh, no way that works, right? Yo, that's actually crazy. That's that's fire. That's fire. So pretty much you control people. You could just walk around and pretend to sell off their cars or take ownership of their cars and you could lock it and unlock it, whatever you want. Okay, here we go. I stand corrected. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got the heel key and armor key. Okay, it's hidden, which makes it confusing. So it's under a completely different category, but you could actually set a heel key and an armor key. But yeah, I mean, that's the TZX uh, mod menu right there. I, I pretty much just went over all the basic functions and then it does have a lot of unique features that I haven't seen before. So honestly, WTZX for that I'm not gonna lie all right up next we got the hx mod menu let's break it down you got the combat you got the players options then you got your visuals and then you got your miscellaneous and then of course you got your config file and already off the bat i can see that they don't have the same thing that the tzx menu has where you can load other players config files i thought that was really unique but they do they do have block game input we're gonna start off with the combat come on you guys already know we got to start off with the aimbot but without aimbot what the fuck is a menu come on my fault gang i'm just testing the same bot that i got i mean you just you don't care that i'm aimbotting in your server bitch boy i mean i'm in this bitch aimbotting too we can <laughs> can see whose aimbot's better at this point. oh god bro you want to test that shit wait this is fire hold on yeah. Yeah, yeah like you don't even need to like click a key bind or hold a key bind for the aimbot to work it just like automatically locks on when you aim in all right that's cool so the second you aim in like it just automatically locks on to the player like you don't even need to click a hockey or anything that's pretty cool i'm pretty sure you could set it up to where you have to click a hockey if you guys prefer it that way but honestly this way is a lot better the second you aim in you're killing that motherfucker bro i do think it does make the aimbot a lot better on this menu and then you got your neck and your stomach as well so if you just want to aim into their stomach or their neck or any other part of their body you can do that as well yeah just a bunch of different aimbot settings on the right and then you have more weapon options here where you got infinite ammo okay so you can teleport to a player or you can start following a player oh my god this is the menu okay so that's actually pretty cool so you can pick up you can actually pick a player and you could just follow him so if someone's in a car and driving you can just follow them wherever they go so this player's in his car for example i can't see where he is exactly but i'm following him you got a bunch of self options you got your no clip you can bind that you got your free cam you can bind that the free cam your character obviously stays in place but you can move around the map see what everybody else is doing and then uh you disable it and then you're right back at your original spot oh that's cool you actually have a tp key we'll just set a random waypoint right we'll go like if we just click the key do we teleport we do that's fire so you just set a waypoint we'll do we'll do we'll do we'll do the police station right and you just click your key bind and you automatically teleport. Okay, that's fire. With all these menus, there's like a bunch of different options that you've never experienced before. And when you actually experience it for the first time, you're like, damn, that's fire. Every menu has its own like special unique options that you can do. So it's kind of hard to pick which is the best. I do wish there was trolling options on here. Like maybe, uh, I don't know, kick player out of car or like explode car or whatever. You got all your basic ESP functions. You got your vehicle options, all basic stuff. You can add vehicle turbo. And then here is where your vehicle spawner is and you can spawn inside of a vehicle or you can enable the only client side, which basically means if you spawn a car that's blacklisted in a server, you'll probably end up getting banned for it. So you could enable this option. And if the vehicle is in the server files, it'll spawn for you. And if it's not, it won't spawn for you. Therefore you won't get banned for it. So, I mean, yeah, there's that. There's the HX menu. If you're new to five them and you're just getting into trolling and you just want to aimbot people or you just want to turn on esp then this is the menu for you i do think tzx menu has a lot more to offer and here's the part that you guys have been waiting for i think we're gonna have to recommend tzx menu hx menu is still a great menu don't get me wrong if you guys like the features that it offers in this video you guys can go with that my personal experience and what i experienced in this video i do think that tzx menu has a little bit more to offer but they're still good menus and they're pretty cheap on realdudesync.com so who knows if you're a big baller and you want to get both of them go for it 
But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys want to see next on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.